my God, I'm still here. Now we got another player here. And there's another one coming, guys. I'm telling you, this is a real <laughs> treat here. We are, this is the Pickleball Show with Curtis Reese. That is Curtis Reese, and I am Toddy. What's your last name? Barclay. Barclay. What? Barclay. That's a cool last name. Toddy Barclay. Cool. I'm just kidding. I'm Curtis Reese, and that is Toddy Barclay. Hello. So, Toddy, give us a brief background of yourself and tell us what you do here at the Oasis Pickleball Club in Rockwall. I grew up on Orcas Island on a boat, which is kind of fun. I love it. Um, that's in Washington State. And my husband and I found pickleball about five and a half and six years ago. Six for him and five and a half for me. It and all goes together. <laughs> yeah, it does. And we've just been all in with pickleball. We went to nationals in 18 and 19 and competed. And we love tournaments. We love the game. We love helping to grow it. And a year ago, we moved to Texas. We found Oasis Pickleball, 42 designated pickleball courts, and we were in love. And so we moved here and became coaches here, and we love growing the sport and encouraging new players and helping the ones that just want to get better and everybody else. So running tournaments and just having a good time is our goal. And so with that being said, What's your role here? You just run tournaments or you, you, you do lessons and all types of stuff here? We started with coaching and we've experimented a little bit helping run tournaments and it is our goal to possibly be more involved with that. We're still just looking at the doors opening up and figuring out where that all is going to be. What's your favorite shot? I love when I, I love it when I get a drive that just goes barely over the net and drops between the players and they're both just looking at each other. What's that shot called? A drive. A drive. <laughs> a she drive? likes to drive. Soft drive, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your uh, paddle of choice? Do you have a certain brand or a type, type of that brand? Absolutely. Coming from Washington State, we are Selkirk people. We love Selkirk. We love the family. We love their business and what they stand for. And we're representatives of them. When we were in Washington, we didn't see the point because everybody loves Selkirk up there in Idaho and Washington. We were on the east side of Washington, so that made sense. And then when we moved to Texas, we signed up with them to be representatives for them. We wear Selkirk stuff all the time and we love their paddles. They keep, they're so innovative and come out with new stuff all the time. So if I get this, Right. You like Selkirk? Yes. Okay. Selkirk, you got a good rep here, I'm telling you, and player. So uh, let's, th let's go to something funny here, something funny here. Um, what's something you think somebody would think is weird or unique about you? I'll start with me. I just found out that the owner of this place knows my uh, cardiologist, Dr. Lampy. He's, isn't that weird? What do you got? It's weird. <laughs> Some connections. <laughs> Uh, so I was going to say living on a boat, but I already talked about that. I grew up you having a lot of fun. Got those five things. What are those five things you have? Those animals? What's oh, one we person? have. That's my husband's talk. Oh, okay. So I also love being crafty. I love 3D printing. I had a friend introduce me to it a couple years ago, and I have a printer. I made these earrings. <laughs> I make zipper pulls, and it's just, you know, when we went to nationals, I was a little disappointed that there weren't little things that I could buy as a example of pickleball something that i could just spend five dollars and have in my pocket so uh that's kind of what was my drive to come up with it and i had a friend suggest to me making earrings also just this year so i've started doing that and i have people that order from me all over the na so nation how would people so. reach you if they wanted to buy something from you like on, online or like want to buy your earrings or i have a i do have a website yeah. but it's not working on it's it? not good so oh, um right. i usually just hand out my card and <laughs> i have an email and a phone number and provide that if you want kind of it or provide that my phone number i guess or um, your email whatever you want to do okay how about my email That's uh t b h q and then my last name barclay b-a-r-c-l-a-y at gmail.com the tbhq is for uh, my name, my husband's name, and then we have two kids. Um, what are their names? Hudson and then Quinley. Nice. Hudson is 15, just got his driver's permit. Oh, boy. And Quinley is 10 and giving us a run for our money. She likes to shop. Oh, boy. <laughs> so 
Go. All right, speaking of shopping, let's get this young man over here. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Well, thanks for coming. Appreciate it, Toddy. Come on here. Uh-oh. Who's this guy coming in? I'm kind of scared here. Uh, Come on, man. Sit down, young man. I'm not young anymore. Yeah, you are. Yes, I am. He is. See? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I oh. uh, talked to you. You can just look, in, look into that camera right there. Okay. We're still, all right. So this is, um, tell me your name. I'm Brian Barclay. Brian Barclay. So that was my lovely wife, Toddy. I know she's the better, better smarter half. She's the boss. She, she, she is the boss and keeps me in line. I have one too, trust <laughs> So does he. We all have one. All right. And thank you for that, Melanie. Uh, so, well, t tell us what you do here at Oasis Pickleball. Well, right now uh, I've been uh, helping coach level one and level two classes on Tuesday nights. And then every once in a while, Tati and I have put on some clinics. Um, and that's pretty much it right now. We've helped run a few tournaments. And we just try to help grow the sport and, and encourage more people to come out here and to learn and to embrace the uh, family that's here. What's your quick little bio that we that you want to tell our listeners? Uh, well, I grew up in viewers. Washington, Tacoma, Washington. Uh, uh, went to Washington State University. Go Cougs! <laughs> ah. oh, uh, we miss Coach Leach, though, don't we? Uh, yes, we definitely do miss Coach Leach. I, I was uh, there back she when Drew State. Bledsoe was a senior and won really? the, the Apple Cup and the Snow Bowl. He should have saved that. Yeah, that was so that awesome. I was there. I froze my butt off at that <laughs> game. It was so much fun. So why, how, win pickleball? Uh, well, I actually played pickleball when I was in my teens growing up wow. uh, in Washington State. We used to hit with wood paddles, these little plastic balls on the gym floor. I loved it. And then um, uh, growing up after college, I just played softball. And about six years ago, a buddy of mine, Forrest, thank you, Forrest. What's Forrest's name? Forrest Fink. There you go. Forrest Fink. Uh, he says, I'm playing pickleball. I'm like, I think I know how to play that. And next thing you know, I'm whacking the ball <laughs> like a madman. Uh, we went all in and took us about uh, two years to actually learn how to re re really play the game. Yeah. And I want to shout out to uh, uh, Dick and Steve for teaching us the game. These are two Do they have six. last names like Bono or Shane? Uh, or their last names? Dick uh, Ra Rally, Dick Rally, and uh, good old Steve. There we go. Anyways, good old Steve. I like good old Steve. Good old Steve. He, he's out in Crescent Bar, uh, Quincy area. And anyways, those guys, they were in their 60s. You know, here I'm in my mid 40s back then. And they were just schooling us. I'm like, how can I not beat these 60 year olds? I always love that. <laughs> you know, and then uh, they taught us the game. They taught us how to dink. They taught us how to hit third shot drop. And my game has improved tremendously since then. But what's your favorite brand? It was show us. Let us all Let's see. Look see at the camera. that. Selkirk. Of course, I rep Selkirk also. I'm a nah. Selkirk advocate. I think your wife I love too. the Power Air. So much spin and, and power. Mm -hmm. uh, I love this thing. Texture like. Oh, it's awesome. This is what cool. is this? The in, Invicta? This is the Invicta Power Air. And I run two weights on the side. Ah. I got weights on the on the outside. It's still 12 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Yeah, I just run them over here. <laughs> but it's a great paddle. It's really improved What's your my game. shot, homie? I actually love to an inside Show out. It. I do a little cut and just inside out people and drop it at the net and they can run and they can run and they look dumb yes yeah <laughs> that's just that's a tip point with them. i'm telling you it's, that's how to teach yes so well that's uh, one of my favorite shots your favorite shots okay yes. involves making the opponent move uh what's your favorite uh do you like mixed do you like doubles do you like singles what's I, your favorite I, one my favorite run is men's doubles mm -hmm. uh why is that it just seems more pure uh of a game mm -hmm. it just it puts me back in my element where i'm my best but um, I did have a good run last weekend at the Mid South. Oh, uh, go? I took gold oh, at four or five gold last weekend with my beautiful partner Jenny Marcos out of Oklahoma City. Hey Jenny, is she on the is she on the Punishers? Uh, yes, she is. All right, so you didn't know I knew that. I know a lot of stuff. Yeah, she was fabulous. That's she great. was awesome. And then uh, and then men's doubles last weekend Mid South. I took silver in the, in in the four or five. Uh, 35 plus 50 plus so, so what's the what's the one unique weird thing that, that people would uh, think was cool or funny about you funny weird cool I don't know I well I got a bunch of dogs at home a lot of dogs a lot of dogs I love Ren Stimpy cartoons <laughs> I'm serious. That, that's one of my weird things. No, if you guys know what Dodge Coin is, we have four Shiba Inus. Four of them. That's what it is. Four Shiba Inus. Oh my gosh, they are like half dog, half cat. 
Really? It is crazy. Uh, they run around. They'll come up, pet me, and then next thing you know, <laughs> don't pet me. You know, they have their mind of their own. Mm. So, but they, they keep us in check. Uh, my my son does uh, scent works with them, so oh, they wow. learn how to go hunt scents. Oh, wow. And and she he does that with my mother in law, and they do a great. The dog's been trained to do that, so they have a great time doing that. So it's been a great time. Get out of here. All, All right. right. Thank Thanks you. Appreciate it, Curtis. You. Thank you. you so much. Who's next? Thanks. Come on. Pick me. Okay, uh, state your name. Hello. I've got another pr amazing pro here I've heard a lot about. Tammy, tell us your last name. Uh, my name is Melissa Pedroza. I like that better. Yep. <laughs> Her name is Melissa Pedroza. She's an amazing pickleball player and professional out here at the Oasis of Rockwell. Tell us how, what, when, why pickleball. Well, let's see. I've been playing for about eight years. Um, I started out in volleyball and then got old and couldn't play anymore. Were you at the IPTPA thing? Uh, yes. I saw you there, the one up there. At, uh, sorry, keep going. Chicken and pickle. Uh, no, the no. other one. We'll no. talk later. Off, okay. go. Got it. Um, yeah. So uh, got old. Er. Uh, <laughs> wasn't as good at volleyball. So then I, I found pickleball with my husband. We actually uh, started playing at the YMCA in Rockwall. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, same people are still playing. Same way. They're awesome. Love I grew up in Rockwall. But um, yeah, so I've been playing for almost eight years. What do you do here at um, the Rockwell Aces and Pickleball Club? So we actually have a junior AAU Talk about this. Team. Talk about it. Um, it's a nonprofit that uh, Francine, Jewett, and I started. We've been coaching kids for about four years, but I think in 2021 we officially started the nonprofit uh, organization. So we raise money to pay for their tournaments, equipment, shirts. We have people drive an hour away to come practice one night a week we do um, and we have kids events yep. super fun um, a lot of them are getting involved in like the texas open mid-south they're playing tournaments it's so fun working with them these kids are so passionate about it um yeah it's a lot of fun i i've just decided that she doesn't know this yet but i've i've been searching for a junior pro for a long time to have on and talk about ins and outs and i mean to reach out to her but she'll she'll come on sometime to talk about this so tell me your thoughts about Objectively, obviously, there's no right or wrong here, but uh, with regards to the junior, in a snippet of junior tennis versus junior pickleball tennis, do you see like something like a mi minor difference, like uh, scoring, or they, they, they play longer, they have more fun? What, what, what do you see the differences? Because I know when I did tennis, it's boring as well, drills and you got yelled at. I mean, I don't really know much about tennis. But pickleball. At all. So but was the it? Pickle, like, the kids love the drills. Okay, so you love to drill. Uh -huh. We usually make it competitive. Uh -huh. So, you oh, yeah. know, and our, they always want to stay longer. So, uh, how, many, how many kids do you have? Like, is it like four to six kids per quarter? How does it work? Or ten so, or? right now, it's Francine and myself. And so, we try to keep it. Um, we usually have about eight to 12 kids who show up for practice, but we have sometimes as many as 24 oh. kids come. And we have got space, man. We need volunteers. So, ah, like, and see we don't that? get paid where it's all volunteer, but we are raising more money so we can start paying people for help. Uh, right now, our club is currently closed because it's Francine and I and we it takes away from the people who are already they know how to play we're working on skills so we let usually let them come and try out maybe see if it's a good fit but we also hold we're holding three different junior events this summer June July and August where all juniors are welcome and we're gonna do big round robins and have prizes it's gonna be really fun so that's awesome so when people see this um, hear this we're gonna set, we're in the process of setting up a YouTube channel right now how would they get in touch with you about about that that uh, that the junior aspect AAU the volunteering and stuff like that? Email Maybe address. If they wanted to volunteer. Yeah, just that they can get the, the, the conversation started. I mean, I would say to reach out to either myself or Francine. And what's um, that email address? They can have that. Uh, you're awesome at gmail.com. There no, you go. <laughs> it's okay, I get it. So I'm kidding. no, I don't want to put you on the spot like that. But I'm just so happy that there's someone that's passionate yeah. about that, and you're doing it for free. And I think that's ama I know that's amazing. So um, we can touch on that later. That's fine. Yeah, Gene, Gene from o Oasis can put you in the right direction. Got it. Gene Click, Oasis, the man over there somewhere. He's here. All right, so let's talk about your favorite shot. Uh, my favorite shot is probably, um, well, I have two. It's your, I, show, I it's your story. Go for pick. it. So I, I really love the, res the, the reset shot. Like, I love to slow down the ball and mm -hmm. reset from the transition zone. Mm -hmm. I think that's, like, one of my best shots. Yep. Um, but I also love the backhand flick. <laughs> That's uh, reaching out uh, with a low ball and just flicking it is probably 
more fun than <laughs> so favorite brand paddle what are you using right now so currently i'm using the warrior edge oh. i'm testing out paddles Diadem. right now and so that is what i'm using because i was with head for a couple years yeah. and my contract just expired so i'm just trying out some some new paddles just testing the waters i would too there's man there's a lot I get of good it. ones out there so i'm trying to figure it out so uh what's your um do you prefer singles doubles or mixed doubles which and they're all fun but uh, which singles, ones you never okay <laughs> um so it kind of depends i love women's doubles and i love mixed when you're playing with a really awesome guy uh, left-handed guys are awesome to play with because i'm kind of right that side dominant so it's uh, fun you gotta know this left hand and right handed you know that right do what your owner's left handed and right handed yeah uh, <laughs> that's what he told us um so yeah okay good. so love pickleball she does love pickleball. So my last question to you would be, what's something funny or quirky that make 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 people laugh about you? I used to watch the Smurfs. Gosh. I don't like Smurfs. I mean, I'm just pretty weird in general. <laughs> so I make a lot of like weird comments, and I'm just a goofball. She's I mean, goofy. She's say? kooky. She's crazy. Like yeah, people know I'm weird, but they usually they usually they like that about me. <laughs> so it's basically you need to come out here and watch her work her magic, watch any of these pros do their magic to meet their personality. So, well, thanks for coming on. You've been paroled for now. All right. Thanks for coming. Who's next? It's like roll call. We're doing this old school. Okay. Come on, man. This guy, I don't know this guy that well, but he, he's got a he's got a unique situation here with what what he does here. Tell us your name. Tom Iretti. Tom what? Iretti. That's awesome. like Iraqi with a D. <laughs> so why, what, where, when, how pickleball? Um, well, they put up some municipal courts, and I thought, man, somebody really screwed up these tennis courts. They are nowhere near the right size. Um, so then we discovered that there's a new sport that we hadn't heard of back in 2019. Uh, then the world shut down, and uh, we have a, like a, a driveway that is large enough for a pickleball court, and it's pretty flat. So I took a pressure washer, and I made a, 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 a fixture out of plywood, and I pressure washed a pickleball court into my driveway because you know I don't want the HOA getting on me about that is paint. so awesome I've never right? I love these stories <laughs> lasted a whole year uh, but we were uh, we have four in my family so we just played and played and played because we're st nothing else to do yeah. and I developed so many bad habits that I'm still trying to get rid of on the court or off the court just kidding Keep yes going. the answer is yes um, <laughs> But yeah, so then, uh, then actually I came out here, um, discovered actually Melissa, who, who you just met, mm -hmm. and uh, Francine are putting on you know some clinics out here for people that want to learn. So I actually started doing drills with them. Just really loved it. I, I love the connection to people. So um, they they were trying to move on, and they actually handed it off to me to take over <laughs> the the drills much later after I was really focusing on getting my skill level up. So uh, that's when I really started to love teaching pickleball. So as you're much. here full time now, right? So I, I, yeah, I'm actually a resident, one of the resident uh, oh. teaching pros here. Um, not a professional player, but I am a certified coach. Uh, Rich makes sure that I put that disclaimer in. There's some kind of legal, legal ease that I need to speak there. Oh, um, it's all objective here. It's free. But yeah, so uh, actually, uh, Toddy and Brian uh, and Francine. Uh, we do a Tuesday night um, thing where we have an intro, a level one, and a level two to just kind of proselytize the sport, bring people in, let them feel the success, and let them get connected to other people of like-minded, just want to have fun, right? So that's that's what I'm all about. So you you you're you're the, you're the most important person, uh, I'd say, with that because you bring the you get the people in, and I met everybody on staff here, and I they all got that good vibe. But welcoming people that's the most important part. You know, you get them started, it's easy to get lost in a place like. But that's good, getting going. So you say level one and two, just kind of let, let the listeners know what that means. Yeah, so um, like we have an intro class, which is you never picked up a paddle, we'll teach you how to play in an hour, right? But after that, you can come into the level one and we'll get you up to a point where you're playing proficiently. At least you know what to do, you know where to stand. And then we have a progression where you can get to, you know, 3-0 level player, right? Which means you know some of the strategy, but you want to perfect some of the techniques. So we'll take you up to that level. And then if you want to go beyond that, we have, of course, we got Jess, we got Rich, we got Toddy, Brian, and myself to do private lessons and say we can focus on your specific needs. So it, it has a, a whole life cycle. And it's really fun to see people that have started at the, yeah. at the very beginning and then feel like they've gotten enough out of the level one and level twos yep. 
and then they come back to me later and they're like, oh, Tom, you should Remember you would have been, sucked. You would have been so proud of me. I, I went back and returned a lob the correct way without running backwards and almost killing myself. Right. So we get the, that. Those are the things that really kind of um, make me realize why I'm doing this. Um, that it's it's not only is you can't have a bad time hitting a wiffle ball around with a paddle, right? There's just no Pick a ball. There's no frowns on the court, right? So um, but you're also making connections with people. Yeah, uh, that's that's really a, a that's what's satisfying for me. So when you do play for fun, you know, you don't, it doesn't matter if you're good or bad at pickleball like I am. Um, the fact that you're out there playing is all that matters. So. So do you, do you, what's your kind of goal? Are you going to try to play some tournaments or are you going to try to? I, I dabble. I go into a few tournaments here and there. I, I mean, I work full time. I'm a, I'm know. a physicist uh, doing uh, quality control automation for, you know, that's my day job, right? This is, I do this for that's fun. That's the weird thing about him that I didn't know. I'm just <laughs> that is, there's many weird things about me. Um, but I, I do this for fun. I try to keep it fun. Yeah. And if I try to get overly serious about it, I don't want it to be a second job. I don't ever want to take that joy out of it. Um, you know, play with all, all ranges of players. You know, if I see somebody sitting and they don't have somebody to play with, that's, I feel like that's me. I need to get out there and get them on a court. So can people, if they want to contact, can, do they go to the Oasis website or did you have to, I mean, it's up to you, get email or not, Both. it's up to you. Both, yeah, yeah, you What's can, your they email can contact me. Know that. Uh, it's my full name, thomas.iradi, iradi, at gmail.com. Uh, contact me there if you want, um, you know, want help it with your game, or you want to know what events we have here. Yeah. You know, we'll get you, we'll get you hooked up. And like I said, we got, you know, you'll you'll meet Rich here in a minute. He's yeah, a senior touring uh, pro, yeah. right? So we've got all levels of instruction, all levels of player, and we can meet you at your game where you're at, and bring you to the level that you you can possibly achieve. So what is, what's what do you for when you play for fun or serious? Do you do singles, doubles, or mixed? Does it really matter? Uh, so I, I actually I play them all. Uh, what mood you're in? It depends if you're in, on you play singles. Maybe it depends <laughs> on how hot it is. Maybe singles is on a cooler morning, uh, and and doubles, mixed doubles. I play and my wife plays, so um, she and I will play on the weekends just to kind of have a rec game. Uh, play uh, all all different all different kinds of mix and matches levels as much as like I can. Just like to play, basically. I just like to play. Yeah. Like that's what it's all about. So, what's your favorite shot? If you have one right now? Oh, I love the ATP. Right? If I can, <laughs> if I can sneak one past somebody, you know, that's uh, that's always the the money shot for me. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So, other than the physicist thing, what's the what's one weird thing you think that people don't know about? So, you? I've got about a hundred thousand views on a pickleball parody song called "Dinks in the Kitchen," and it's under "Dinks in the Kitchen" on YouTube. Are you on Instagram? I am not on Instagram. You can follow me on YouTube. Keep going. Yeah. So, uh, but I've got about eight parody songs. I started. I started singing these at a tournament where um, Susan Henderson. She she kind of runs some local mm -hmm. um, events and some pickleball. Here in McLean, yes. Rockwell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's over in Rowlett. Oh, okay. Uh, so the next door. Uh, anyway, she asked me to kind of hey make some songs, do some entertainment. Belt so I was like, out, okay. So uh, Dinks in the Kitchen, uh, you can look it up, but if you know, want me to riff a couple? All right, you ready for this? Everybody listen up. He's going to sing. Go for it. My cell cook arrived just the other day. It came in the mail in the usual way. Now there's an open court. They said, come on, let's play. I said, I'm not too good. They said, that's okay. And we were dinking for we knew it. And as we played, I said, I want to play like you. Yeah, you know I want to play like you. And the dinks in the kitchen and the Ernie move, the overhead slam and the serve and the groove. Oh, what's the score again? Well, it's 0-10-2, but it's been sure nice playing with you. Yeah, sure nice playing with you. Dude, that was awesome, man. You guys are going to clap? Come on. There we go. There's like 5,000 people at it. We muted half of them. Okay, everybody, you understand that? Uh, thank you. So, uh, well, I'm glad you came on. I mean, I don't know how we beat that. I, I, I don't, I got nothing. I can't wait for them to sing their songs. Well, I don't know. This next guy coming on, I don't know if he's going to beat this one, but thanks for coming. Appreciate hey, thank it. you. I'll see you soon. All right. Here he comes. The Thunder. Not from down under. <laughs> Mr. Rich Lopez, right? Uh, yes, sir. Get close to that mic, right close oh, to you. It's kind of yeah. mic's kind of like in your, in, in your gear here, right? Okay. So uh, does it sound good? Okay. So uh, this is another amazing... Uh, <laughs> Actually, an amazing pickleball professional on and off the court. Uh, I know he's an ambassador for the National Pickleball League, which we've had some friends on, guests on um, today in the past couple months, and he was supposed to come on, but he forgot about me, didn't show up. I'm just kidding. No, you didn't. But this is Mr. Rich Thunder Lopez. Go for it, brother. <laughs> Let me care. 
Uh, yes, I did. I forgot all about you. I am so sorry. Please See forgive me. See that? I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, no, it's so great to be here. Thanks so, so much for uh, coming out here and supporting us here at Oasis and doing what you love to do and getting the word out about pickleball, man. Well, it sounds to me like I'm not going anywhere. But uh, well, good. So tell us about your story. I've heard. Tell us about the name I was given by by one of our counterparts. You can name drop uh, with pickleball, where you started, what you're doing now, all that good stuff. Um, well, I'll tell you. Uh, how did I get started? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a transplant. Growing up, I, I played every sport that had a ball. Um, yeah. Soccer was my first love. Yeah. Got into baseball. Um, did that for a while. Got into fast pitch softball. Transitioned yeah. to that. Played shortstop many years. Um, but played football. Played basketball. Like I said, anything with a sport. Got into racquetball later on in life. Nice. Um, did that. Probably about 33, I started playing racquetball. Got hooked up a couple years later with Gearbox. Nice. Um, that's kind of how I got introduced to the Gearbox family. Wow. Um, they took me in, and, uh, you know, it's been great. I, I did a good, I don't know, 10 years of uh, racquetball. Uh, didn't really get to the op uh, the pro level, got to the open level. Wow. Um, but people always wondered and ask, you know, Rich, how did you – get into pickleball and I said well you know I said no for two years I was 47 years I was 45 when I first heard about it I said I'm not old enough I'm playing racquetball exactly racquetball is a you know you're not old enough to play pickleball is that what you said I wasn't oh, old enough to play pickleball yeah, right. and you know well what happened was is that, you know an injury happened and so I had to stay off the court for a little bit and once I was rehabbing my buddies kept bugging me and they said hey come out and just try it exactly. just hit it I kid you not. I went out there. I tried it. I was 47. Mind you, two years after saying no. I was 47. I tried it once. After that week, I called up Joel from Gearbox. I said, hey, Joel, I know you just started doing this pickleball stuff. I want paddles, no more rackets. I'm going to go do this pickleball thing. You said it perfectly. <laughs> and, and, you know, and he looks at, he tells me, he goes, Rich, we don't have a pickleball sponsorship program. I said, we'll figure that out later. I just want to do this pickleball thing. So I was hooked from day one, and I just got into it. And then one day I finally, you know, fast forward, I drilled for a couple years, didn't know, didn't had no idea about doing a senior pro thing. I just knew that 50 was a great year. You know, that's all I kept hearing about. So I turned 49, and I go to sign up for my first tournament, and it tells me, Hey, put down a nickname. Oh God! And I'm like, okay. So I put in my nickname Thunder. You know, I, <laughs> and mind you, back then I have no idea. So I go get my first match called. Back then, nowadays they just text you, and you go to court twenty whatever, yeah. or court five. But back then they yeah. set it over the intercom, and I didn't know when you put in your middle name that they didn't do the first name. So it makes you know over the intercom it's Thunder Lopez to court four. And I'm I heard like, that. what? The heck? You take your shirt off, go running. Yeah, right, right. What you did. and so <laughs> I was like, "Oh, great!" So everyone's looking around. Who's Thunder? So it just it was kind of funny, to be honest. But that's just kind of how that's it just awesome. took off. Um, so people ask, "Well, where does Thunder come from?" And so back when I was young, I was 17, a senior in high school. Back then, I used to hang out at the arcade and uh, going to the arcade, playing air hockey, and all that stuff. Yes. So I look over, and there's this little game being played on the side and I saw it and because I'm a soccer guy yeah. it was table soccer I've heard of table tennis I've heard of different things but I've never seen table soccer which they call foosball foosball I'm like what okay so foosball was a thing and I'm like checking it out I'm like hey this is kind of neat so I started tinkling messing with that next thing you know my buddy and I were like hey we need to join a tournament so we had joined the tournament and our first tournament we got to come up with a team name so we come up with a team name I'm Thunder. He was like, oh my, and that's so how Thunder much. starts. And I kid you not. So Should he have been tangling a, cash. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He had an amazing pull shot. It was really fast. It was like lightning. Oh, Lord. and every time I would shoot and score, it was loud. So I was Thunder. So it just, it was just like a classic thing. So that just kind of stayed with that's me throughout great. the years. And so that's so for those out there wondering how did Thunder come about, that's where it comes from. Back in the foosball days. Can I be the cloud? 
You go no, right I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You can be the cloud. Uh, my buddy Paul Olin says yeah, okay. it calls me Drizzle, so I don't know. He, he, He's he, Drizzle. All right. He, yeah, he calls. He loves. He so loves I'm not me. taking that away from you. Not at all. Okay. So, so tell yeah. us about. Uh, keep going, man. Oh, so, and, and that's kind of it. So when I first started playing, I had some. Uh, I had a couple of guys that really took me under their wing, and um, which Bob. I was really thank thankful. Uh, some of you may know, may have heard of Jordan the Breeze Brionis. Um, him and his father, Batong, they kind of brought me into their wing when I first started out in Concord, California. And, uh, you know, when people, sometimes it's tough to get into the high level group, you know, when you're not, uh, yeah. strong enough to play, they tend to not let you play. And, you know, everyone has a story where they go through and Maybe. you have somebody that shuns you. And I got one of those. And, and so, you know, for many, it kind of deters people, but for me, it kind of gave me the fire. And so it allowed me to push and pull, you know, to, to grind. And one of the things yeah. I'm very thankful for was Batong, mm -hmm. one of the most selfless guys I've ever met in an ambassador for pickleball. He do, did a great job out in Northern California, still to this day, still is doing an, an amazing job. And Jordan, for that matter, if you guys check him out on YouTube, you know, he's got his Bironis pickleball. Um, those guys took me under. And you, if you see the shirt I'm wearing right now, actually, yep. it's called Good to Great. Good to great, but Tong started this group out in our for our drill team, our drill group for those that are wanting to get to the next level. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've just I am a product of that good to great. Mm -hmm. So I started uh, when I started working out here at Oasis. I just wanted to keep his legacy going, and uh, so I started a good to great drill group myself. And uh, it's just been awesome. So I you know I tip my hat to. For those out there that take the time yeah. to help build the sport, to help to the next ones to come, um, the next generation to come, you know, I applaud all of you guys out there doing the work because sometimes it goes unnoticed, but I'll mm -hmm. tell you this, I'm a definite fan of everyone out there giving that new person a chance. You know, so. that, that's, that's, I can't really beat that. That's pretty good. I mean, that's the truth. And I, and I, you can see when people don't really understand or get it or care, especially in this sport. Uh, but um, anyway, it's uh, it's that's all I got. That's awesome. Favorite shot. Favorite shot. Um, <laughs> I have to go with the lob. Ah, that's what Gene loves. Uh, that's outside or new side? Outside. Um, do I'll do the forehand roll. But you know what? I like them both. I like the backhand. Back. I like Actually, the you know what? My favorite shot is the backhand lob down the middle because ah. when I push this guy wide. He sends it back. I volley it over the guy in front of me, which is he's unexpected. So I do a backhand. It's like an inside-out lob <laughs> over, and uh, it's cool. off the volley. I can see it's that. Very oh, off important. the volley. Off yes. The volley. It's very there important. we go. The at the, at the, no volley zone line. Love it. Yeah. So All right. What's your that. What's your brand? Obviously, what's your favorite brand? And paddle with the with the. Um, I'm a gearbox guy through and through. I've been with him from the beginning. Um, and they're just it's it's a family. What paddle you use? I'm a GX5 guy, and at the moment, I am the OG man. Uh, everybody's heard of me. They, they know, they love the sound of my you paddle. You have your own paddle. <laughs> I, I like to say it's my own paddle. because It's coming, only, baby. It's there's coming. There's only about four of us that use it still. <laughs> and I'll tell you this. It takes, it's an attest to how amazing and, and how the Gearbox paddles are built. Mm -hmm. uh, built to last, for sure. Uh, my paddle's three years old. And I will I'll drop a hint. Gearbox is never done innovating and creating so i'll just tell you that and i'm excited so if i'm excited everybody's excited so i will tell you this <laughs> um one day i look forward to taking my og paddle and have all my buddies sign it and putting it in a frame so, in the hall of fame pickleball hall of fame. Uh, uh, it would be great and so, every time people walk past you about <laughs> and, and, and for the record if there's one person that loves my paddle it's a top merchant <laughs> all right what's something weird about you i've told too many things today Weird about me. The people think's funny. Okay, I was. I said I was a triple. I said that. Okay, trick question. My kids, I'll tell you, they think it's funny that I can do a belly roll. So they like it when I do a little belly roll. They think it's kind of crazy. I embarrass them all the time because I'm an old that. school guy. So anytime music's on, I'll start popping <laughs> and locking. So that's cause people think it's weird because I, 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 I do puns to music all the time. Good. So uh, if somebody says something, I'll start singing a song. If somebody, if a good song pops on, I'll start dancing. It's just how it goes. <laughs> it, I'm, so that's kind of the- He's his own show is me. what he is. He's his own show. Uh, I don't know about that. Hey man, you can come back on. We'll have you back on soon. Thanks hey, for coming. Thanks man, I appreciate you. All right, I think we may have one last pro coming up. Let's see.
Who's who's coming on? Are you coming on? Come on. You're done. See you, Rich. Hi there. How are you? You get close to the mic right there. Okay. There you go. So, this is Curtis Reeves with the Pickleball Show, remote from the Oasis Pickleball Club, and I have no idea who the hell I'm sitting next to. Jessica Welch. Jessica Welch here at the Oasis Pickleball Club. She showed up a little late because she's uh was was up playing a match at, out in Australia, but we're glad she's here. <laughs> okay. So uh, tell us about you, where you're from, just a small little bio of of of, of you. Yeah, um, I'm from Washington State, and that's where I learned pickleball. My dad taught me. Uh -huh. um, so I've been playing maybe 10 years, and just moved here in the last seven months. Um, we moved here for Rockwall and for pickleball. A lot of the reason we moved, really? and so because this this, this yeah, concern. we've been here and played some tournaments. Me, and my husband. Darren so told me that. Yeah, wow. so um, we're just glad to be here, and yeah, a lot of now I'm finally got hired here, which is what I wanted to. And exactly. So, coach. Yeah. so what do you what do you do? Like like I said, it's I don't mean to put people on the spot, obviously, but if 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 someone wanted to do something here, they live in this area or somewhere. What what, what do you teach here? What do you do here? Um, Specialized energy. Right everything. now, I'm doing private coaching for pickleball. Um, so one on ones, ages. all ages, any level, even if you never hit a pickleball, we'll coach you. Awesome. Um, awesome. But I really like to focus on footwork, fundamentals, because we tend to learn pickleball and then never learn that stuff on the court. We just exactly. learn how to hit the ball over the net and, and the rules and stuff. So it's a lot of fundamental coaching, things like that. So she does the basics, she does footwork. And uh, I, 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 that is true, footwork is very important. Yeah. So I would say with regards to that, you do privates and then uh, you're from Washington State. Mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what, 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 why, we, did I ask you about what, when, why pickleball yet? Huh? What, when, why pickleball? What, when, why pickleball? Yeah. So I, I think I learned like 10 years ago and I went and visited my dad in California. Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm, I'm only five. <laughs> I should be a 5 -oh by now. No. <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> um, so it's been a while, but uh, it was in California. My dad lives in Palm Springs. And so he taught me on a court mm -hmm. and I like love it. anything athletic. I have a fitness training <laughs> I can background. I see that. Yeah. So um, I just connected instantly. That's and then awesome. I, once I realized the social, like, we had a, a community in Bellingham that did it. I just fell in love because I had never been a part of a community like that mm -hmm. big. And so that just, that was it for me. Fitness and community, I was like sold for the rest of my life. I love That's it. Great. So what's uh, what's your favorite brand? Do you have a brand you use? Um, I go, I've floating? been going through the Power Paddle shenanigans, I feel like. Oh, so the I've harder one? Like, like what, what brand? Just trying all the different ah. tech. I tried, I mean, I don't know. I've been through duck, everything. Duck paddle. Yeah, I mean, there's the Ace Paddle and there's the other Power Paddle. Well, I started getting tennis elbow really bad and went back to Selkirk, which is, I think, a really solid brand. Not Selkirk, yeah, okay. So. Well, then, so what? what's your favorite shot? My favorite shot? Okay, it's an inside out, but it's when I'm dinking and they've shaded and then I split the middle with shaded, inside dude, no, out. Shaded, dude. That means moving a pickleball. Nobody knows <laughs> yeah. that. I know that. <laughs> yeah. Nobody knows I know that. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, when going shifted. to shading. Yeah. Shifting's tennis. So it's a trick. It's just a trick shade. deception shot and I love So you run around your forehand around your backhand? Or I go with my forehand mostly and so it's when I'm cross dinking to the left side. I fake like I'm going to go angle and oh. then I go middle and they split <laughs> okay. and I just love it. I she's, trick them. They miss hit it all the time. She's a baller. <laughs> so uh, singles, doubles, mix, which do you have any preference i definitely like um women's doubles i thrive well in mm -hmm. and then mix i struggle but i like doubles all together mm -hmm. that's my jam and i don't like singles <laughs> Unless you're mad. it's a totally different <laughs> strategy and so i've tried it but it's so much exercise that i it's too much exercise for me which is saying i don't lot. think a lot of people understand that concept of being different between tennis and pickleball that's fine yeah but everybody well it's still good sports so uh what is something oh yeah so tell me about um uh something funny or unique that people like what I told a ton of stuff out of you today. I was gonna say something about Tony Robbins, me walking on hot coals, which I thought was unique. But honestly, everybody laughs when I tell them that I like to break dance. And so I broke I feel dance. Like I, I broke pro <laughs> Manchester, Missouri. I break dance in first Seven Eleven. Like, yeah, there Big Ben Road. There you we kidding. go. Of course, I'm Let's a lot older than you Six are. But but I'm just saying. What was the other thing you said? The uh, I, I, hot coals. Yeah. So like I did a Tony Robbins event, and we walked across like a long bed of hot coals. You did a Tony Robbins event? Yeah. Awesome. It was awesome. Obviously, you walked across the cold. Yeah, now I have something to break about. Life. Dude, your husband? Didn't even hurt. No, I did with my family, actually. All, all of you guys yeah. did. Yeah. She's a nut job, but she's very <laughs> she's a good athlete. No, I'm just kidding. Well, thanks for coming on. Thanks. It was nice meeting Appreciate you. Appreciate it. And this will wrap it up with okay. the uh, with our show for thanks, today. Thanks, everybody. Pickleball, and be looking for us. Thanks again. Come on, let's pickle. Say bye. <laughs> bye.